Microsoft Word 2010, using SmartArt. SmartArt is a feature in Office 2010 that allows you to choose from a multitude of diagrams without having to use drawing tools. Word documents are usually full of text, so it's good to insert some graphics to make your document more interesting. Also, there are times when a diagram can explain a concept better than paragraph text. There are different categories of SmartArt, such as process, hierarchy, cycle, and relationship, and each category has different layouts from which to choose. If you decide you do not like the diagram, even after you have inserted text, you can change to a different diagram from the built-in SmartArt graphics. In this video, we will create a SmartArt diagram from scratch. We will then go over changing and formatting that diagram. So let's get started. Before you go to insert your SmartArt graphic, it's important to know what you want to convey and how do you want the information to appear. You can switch back and forth between different layouts to find the one that best illustrates what you're trying to communicate. In our case, we're going to create a company organization chart. So it's important to get your cursor where you'd like to place that graphic. To use one of the built-in SmartArt graphics, you would go to the Insert tab and in the Illustrations group, you would choose SmartArt. In here, you'll be able to see all of the different SmartArt graphics available to you. On the left-hand side, you have the different categories of SmartArt graphics. So you have the list and process and so on. And you can just click on each of the different categories to see what kind of layouts for each of those categories exists. I'm going to go back up to list and in the different layouts for list, I can click once to get a description over on the right hand side of what that layout is used for. So if I'm not exactly sure which one to choose, I'll be able to get a bit more information right here in the dialog box. If I still need more help, there is a help button in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box. And this would give you help on the different layout types, things to consider before you choose your layout, and you could click on any of these items to see the different layouts and when you would use each. So I'm going to close out of the help and we're going to do an organization chart so I'm going to click on hierarchy on the left hand side. I'm going to start with the basic organization chart and then go ahead and click on OK. Any of the SmartArt graphics that you choose will give you a sample graphic. In here, you could just click and start typing in your text. You can add more objects within your graphic, or you can remove some of the objects. So in our case, we have different boxes, and the top box will be the president of the company. So I would click, and I'd start typing. Notice as I typed, because the name Michelle is rather large, the text in the other boxes will automatically adjust. I'm going to give Michelle an assistant, so I'll click in that box and type an assistant. And then I'll type three subordinates. Again, just by clicking into each of those boxes and typing. If I need to add another shape into my organization chart, there are different ways to do this. I have George's box selected right now because that was the last one I typed into. And up at the top you'll see SmartArt Tools and there's a Design tab and a Format tab. On the Design tab, the first button is Add Shape. You do need to be a little bit careful with Add Shape as it does not always add where you may wish. If I click on the Add Shape button in our case, notice how it adds a subordinate underneath George. I actually want another subordinate underneath Michelle on the same level as George and Robert and Jane. So I'm going to undo that. And with George still selected, I'm going to click on the down arrow next to Add Shape. And I'm going to click on Add Shape After. And it will add it next to George. I could have also clicked into Michelle's box and gone to Add Shape Below. I'm going to go ahead and type in a fourth subordinate for Michelle. 
If I need to remove one of the shapes, I would click on the border of the shape I want to delete and press delete on the keyboard. If I'd like to see other layouts besides the default organization chart, on the design tab, you have a layout group. And I can just point to the different layouts I have here. And there's also a more button where I'll see some other layouts. If I don't like any of these, I can go to the more layouts and I'll be right back into the SmartArt graphic dialog box. And I could pick from this list as well. Once I've picked one that I like, I can go up and change the colors. And these colors are according to the theme of the existing document. And I could choose a different SmartArt style. There's a More button here as well. So I could go in and do a three-dimensional look if I wish. To format the text, you can make sure that the border of your SmartArt is selected. And you can use the Home tab and change the font and the font size and color from here as well. There is a Format tab for the SmartArt tools. So if I wanted to change the shape fill for just the president of the company, I could select the border of the president and choose a different fill for just that one box. And there's styles as well that I can choose from. And that's how you can create a SmartArt graphic, change to a different layout, and format the graphic in Word 2010.